How's it going, everyone? We're going to be going over Boots of Spanish Leather. This is going to be the uh, rendition done by Mandolin Orange. And um, the songs were originally done by Bob Dylan. But I really liked uh, their picking pattern. I want to teach it to you. Uh, the song's pretty cool, too. It's kind of like a back and forth with this girl. She's leaving on a trip. Uh, and this guy is worried that she won't come back from the trip. So she asks, oh, hey, do you want anything while I'm there? And he's just like, well, I just want you back. And then, spoilers, she ends up staying there. So that's kind of sad. So it's a song about longing. Um, the song has three chords, and the song is pretty repetitive, so hopefully you can learn it pretty quickly. Uh, it has a Travis picking, uh, picking pattern. Travis picking is just when you use your thumb for an alternating bass line, and then your uh, the rest of your phalanges uh, fill in the gaps in between. So we're going to have our thumb the entire time playing the E string and the D string. And then um, the uh, index and middle finger are going to be on the G string and the B string. And they are going to play on counts two and four on a lot most of the song. So the basic picking pattern is going to sound like this. And four E and a one and two E and a three and four E and a... And we're going to do, we're always going to play the middle finger B string first and then we're going to play the G string second. So it's going to be one and E G E B D G E D E B D G Cool. So that's going to be the picking pattern. And the basic chords uh, are going to be E minor. D over F sharp. Also C in there, so we'll get to that too. But that's the basic structure. It's just gonna be... So you might want to just uh, practice that uh, in the beginning. But that's uh, most of the song. The uh, other variations are on the um, D chord. What you're gonna do is instead of just playing. We're going to um, play the E note, D, and then we're going to play the G string. One, one, and a two, one, and a two, and then on count two, you're going to play the regular picking pattern you are playing before. You're going to play E, B, D, G. And that G note is actually an open, so you want to lift up this ring finger when you play that note. E, B, D, G. So the, the D chord's only played for two counts, so it's going to be E, D, G, E, B, D, G. Context, you're gonna play E minor. Into that G chord. Alright, and then the, the last part of the song on this G chord, we're gonna start off the same, doing the bass. And then what we're gonna do on count three that's different is you're gonna pluck the B and the E strings together, and you're gonna hammer on the second fret of the D string and the first fret of the B string almost like as if you're playing a C chord because we're going to be playing a C chord and I guess this is a pretty common folk folk thing to do 
a lot of people play your G chord like this in folk music because you, you get a lot more access to hammer-ons and pull, pull-offs. If you played your G like this, you would never be able to do this cool hammer -on. Cool, so let's walk through that. You're gonna, once again, you're gonna pluck the E and the B string, but you're also gonna, and you're gonna hammer on the B string, but you're also gonna hammer on the D string. So make sure you get some noise out of that. And then we're just gonna play a quick in and out pattern. So that's gonna be E and B together, D, G, B, I mean E, B, D. And then you're gonna end it on an uh, open B and third fret on the E string, plucking those together again. So we're gonna do common picking pattern on one and two. And then on three and four, we're gonna go hammer on, D string, G string, E string, B string, D string. Pluck together. Sweet. And then after we pluck together, we're going to do another bar of the regular picking pattern. And that's uh, almost the whole song. So the G chord is going to go like this. Sweet. So um, the chord progression is going to change over time. You're going to play two bars of the E minor, a half a bar, I mean, sorry, you're going to play a bar of E minor, half a bar of D, and then two bars of G. Uh, when you repeat that, you're only going to play half a bar of E minor the second time. Okay, so let's play it through two times and you'll see what I mean. So the first time... Time we're gonna keep the E minor half time. Cool. So the first time through you're gonna play a full bar of E minor. The second time through you only play half a bar of E minor. Um, another thing we need to add in is a walk down from the G chord back to the start of the E minor. What they do in the song is they go like this. They'll add in this little walk down. And the way we're gonna do that is uh, on the G, we're just gonna play E, D, just the bass notes. And then on the F, you're gonna play the second fret Almost, it's gonna be an F sharp of the E string. And we're gonna play that original picking pattern we were doing before. One, B, D, G, E, B, D, G. So it's gonna be E, D, E, B, D, G. Let's do it again. That's it. And that is the song. Well, I'm sailing away my own true love. Well, I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can send you from across the
and then there's one more line but that's that is the whole song let me know if you have any questions three simple chords stay classy